What's up everyone? I'm Toby. This is Silver Fox Disc Golf coming at you. Another cardboard box. You know what that means. From 1010. By the way, uh, not sponsored. Don't, don't really not affiliated with anyone. If you want your discs the fastest you can get them, I definitely recommend 1010. Great selection, great website, a little slow sometimes. Do these discs show up in like two days? It's pretty amazing. But I did order these a while ago and I am super excited to open this box for another three disc challenge where I'm gonna be answering two questions. Question one, should these discs go in a beginner's bag? And question two, should these discs go in this beginner's bag? Let's check them out. By the way, you're sitting on a basket right now, as you can see. I forgot my tripod, so this is gonna be a little bit weird. I'm gonna do my best to take some video here because I've been really excited about opening this box specifically. And you can see, it's Prodigy Discs. And I've been thinking a lot about these discs and I've had these for probably a couple of weeks, been super excited to open them up. Again, can't really remember what I ordered, but let's check them out and then let's go play this round. What's up first? First, we got a sticker. You guys have heard me talk about these it's going right on the back of my computer. Smarties, what? Come on guys, you're too kind. Here we go. So up first, we've got the PX3, a beautifully beaded putter. That's a really nice bead. Wow, this feels almost like an eraser. It is super grippy. I am loving this. It's 174 grams. This feels amazing, holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna love putting with this. This looks really nice. Super flat top. Whoa, that looks great. Love the colors too, the pink and green. Next up, we've got the M3. It is a slightly overstable mid-range. How do I know this? So did you guys know? I looked it up on the flight chart from Prodigy. First letter is the type of disc, M for mid-range. The second is the stability. So one would be super overstable, seven super understable, four right in the middle. So this is a slightly overstable disc. Now I'm a little surprised. I wouldn't normally order uh, an overstable disc. Uh, I'll chalk it up to being uh, fancy free and excited about trying something new. I don't know, we're gonna see how these go. Uh, we'll see how this one feels. This is also their 300 plastics, like a more durable plastic, got a little bit of a grippier feel to it. It's got quite a um, groove here. I'm not sure I love the feel of that in my hand, but we'll check it out. Now this is nice. Next up, we've got the F3. Beautiful fairway, overstable fairway. Uh, it's a 75 negative one two. It's the Isaac Robinson, four-time Hot Lana champion. Beautiful purple color. Now this feels. This is a nice gummy sort of plastic. There. Uh, this must be their. Yeah, it's their 400 plastic, which I think is higher end for them. I know the numbers get bigger up to 750 for the super highest end of their of their um, of their plastics. So this is going to be really fun to play. And last, just because I ordered it around the same time, check out. It's a Latitude 64 Beetle. Not gonna be played today. Holy cow, look at that, wow. Uh, I'm gonna throw a one speed challenge up in the next couple of weeks. And I'm gonna answer the question, should a beginner put a one speed in their bag or are these discs gimmicks? We'll answer that question. All right, let's go play around. All right, you're resting on the bench. Uh, there's a couple more benches out there, so hopefully I'll get a little bit of content. Gonna go with this F3, 291 feet on hole one, it goes up the hill, up to the up to the top of the hill there. Got to cross this pond. I'm gonna expect that this might be a little overstable, so I'm gonna throw it a little more right than I might usually and see if it'll come back. Hopefully it'll avoid all the mess and uh, we'll get out there. Clipped the tree right across the water, but I'm safe. It was an excellent throw, by the way. It was not as overstable as I thought it would be. It flew pretty straight, so uh, fortunately it came out a little bit early. It was a good look, but uh, before I get into the rest of the round, I've got one thing to say. Go Aztecs. Aztecs are 1-0. They beat Ohio last week. Super excited about that. Funny story, Keenan, my son, who's at San Diego State right now, he's a freshman. Thought they were playing Ohio State, so he was like, nah, I'm not gonna go to the game. Turns out it was Ohio. They won the game. Buddy, you gotta go to the games. So he's going this weekend, he's going tomorrow against Idaho State, should see another win. Two and O would be awesome. Okay, I don't really have a way to film this, unfortunately. 
You can see I've got about 75 feet up the hill there. I'm actually gonna set you up on a tree and see if I can at least get the look of my throat. Super good approach. Left-handed. Now you're like a good martini, you're on the rocks. Anyways, dad joke. Pull two, 216 feet, right down there in the trees. I don't think you can quite see it. Uh, so I'm gonna adjust the camera here. I'm gonna give the M3 a whirl. Uh, I, I have a sense that it might be a little bit overstable. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit further outright to get it to, to glide in there. So let's move the camera and see if I can't give you a look. This is gonna be some awesome camera angles. Whoa. Hello, understable. A little bit right there. Okay, uh, I think I wasn't recording. Shucks darn. Um, kind of chipped up with the putter close and uh, got a par there. So it's two pars in a row. Uh, so far I'm liking, really like the feel of this 300 plastic. I'm not sure I love it in the mid range though. Um, I really like it in that putter. It feels like a, kind of like a school eraser. Hole three is 258 feet down the tunnel there to the left. Uh, I normally like throwing a mid range here, but after that throw with the M3, slightly understable. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about it if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna throw this F3, maybe at about like 75% and hope to get it out. Maybe on a little hyzer, kind of hugging the right hand side so it can fade back into the basket. Let's see how it goes. This didn't have a ton of fade. I mean, I'm just throwing these discs for the first time. Uh, I'm liking them so far. I just got to get used to them a little bit. Let's see how it goes. That was amazing. That was a great throw. Um, again, 75% and I uh, just got on a little hyzer and it, uh, let's see how it turned out. You guys are precariously positioned on the basket. Definitely going to fall over. Going to be weird throwing at you, but that's okay. It's going to make for a great look. This is as good as I've thrown here. Uh, I have a, I have a birdie look. Uh, couldn't ask for much more. Uh, it's about a 25 footer. Let's see if we can make it happen. Sorry. Well, four is 312 feet that way into that little uh, cove, we'll call it. I'm gonna give the M3 another try and I'm gonna try to throw it pretty straight right at the gap there, but there's that big bush, so we'll see what happens. I uh, hope you're getting used to this low look. We're gonna see how this turns out on video. I'm gonna put the, uh, gonna put the tripod in the car from now on. Damn, that is an understable disc. All right, uh, the hole is in there and to the right. Uh, I'm right there. Uh, this is good now because I need a little bit of uh, understability. So let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw and I'll report back on the shot. Hit a branch on the way in with the mid range. Been through the putter like 15 feet long here. So this is for a bogey. That double hurts, that's on me. Uh, two pretty poor throws off the tee. Uh, both the discs that I, I threw came out super understable, which is a little, maybe I'm overcompensating. Let's see what happens on hole five. Hole five is in the long position, 297 feet. I'm gonna go with this F3. And uh, I'm trying a new forehand, so let's give it a shot. About 25 feet for par. Hole six, my nemesis. This is where I'd like a little bit of uh, understability. So we're gonna go with this M3 again. I'm struggling to get a grip on throwing these discs. It is not the disc's fault, uh, I promise. I had a pretty poor front nine yesterday. 
So just uh, maybe a little in my head here, but i um, gonna try to get this one out there. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. If you let me run out here within reason and place the disc on the ground, I couldn't ask for a much better spot. I got a nice little bit of understability on that. Came down, give me a look. It's behind the tree there. So I'm gonna throw this F3, kinda, I hope out and around and give me a look. I mean, that'll just tell you the weirdness of being a beginner trying new discs and uh, you know, et cetera. If I double hole four, which is normally a par or birdie, sorry, a par or a bogey. If I've then bogey hole five, which should be a par, and then if I par hole six, which is like, I have a 4.1 scoring average on this hole in my lifetime, a little odd. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it and I'll update you back there at the basket. I shouldn't say the word. P-A-R. Cause now I'm about 30 feet behind the basket, but pretty good look. It just, uh, it's a little gust, whatever. That's where I am. I'm gonna try to put it in from there. Bogey, that's why I have a 4.1 average on this hole. I'm okay with that one. The last two kind of suck. Um, I'll probably go play those two holes again after this video just to see if I don't feel a little bit different having thrown these discs. Bummer, I'm liking them. I just will say so far, early thoughts. Love the F3, I think. It probably has a spot in my bag. Got a lot of seven speeds, but that's a good beginner's disc. I like the M3. I don't love it in this plastic. It's a little too gummy for me. I prefer something a little, probably the 400 plastic would have been better. And I'm liking the putter. It does feel pretty good. It's got a big bead. Uh, take a little bit of getting used to, but you know me, I love a big bead. And I cannot lie. Hole seven, 309 feet, right between those two trees. It's kind of off a little bit to the left. Uh, I think this M3, just try to get through the trees and give myself a good second shot. Tree. Second shot was a really nice forehand here to about six feet. Good to get back on the par train there with a really nice second shot. Uh, hole eight is 348 feet, so we're gonna give this F3 a whirl. Came out low, but we got some good distance on that. All right, I gotta go in there. I'm gonna pick up the F3 and throw it in there with a little bit of fade. Uh, remember to keep it on this side of the basket, the low side of the hill. We'll see how it uh, ended up when we get up there to the basket. I mean, look, you know I'm not posting a double bogey on hole four, and then gonna lie to you about this. Second shot with the F3 flew right in there. This is a perfectly nice fade i was hoping to get it close it's actually probably a little firmer than i'd like to throw it given i want to stay on the low side of the hill uh that is not a complaint i will take this birdie for sure um look it is not my style to throw a shot in from 120 feet definitely take it that felt awesome really bummed i didn't bring the tripod today hole nine is 243 feet I'm gonna throw the f3 kind of gentle it's up the hill past you see this big tree i mean there's a big tree right here for sure Big tree right there too it's up past that we're gonna just try to get this up into a gap give me a good second look still uh floating on that birdie there wow it was a great throw in liking this disc the result is okay skipping a tree kick leave me okay kind of right here in the center with the basket up there it's probably a challenging look with some tree branches Try to get it in, I'll meet you up there at the basket. Not bad. You can see it got in the basket from this angle. All right, well, three over on the front with a birdie. A lucky throw in, but I'll take it. Uh, those three really came from two holes, uh, the double on hole four and then the bogey on hole five. I mean, I bogeyed hole six, but uh, I bogey that hole. So. Um, you know, that's on me. I would say after nine holes, uh, I need a little more time with these. So I'm gonna play the back nine and I'll, I'll get back to you guys at the end of the round. Not gonna film that, that end, but uh, you get the gist. 
Uh, right now I'm feeling good, uh, not great about uh, the way I'm playing the discs, I'll say. It's not the discs fault. So let's see how we do on the back nine. We'll get back in touch with you guys. We'll see how it went and uh, we'll answer those two questions. Should any of these discs make a beginner's bag? And should any of these discs make my bag? Be right back to you. Just checking in, uh, tee shot on hole 10. That's just, uh, within like eight feet. That's one of the best I've thrown. Disc came out well, stayed straight. It, it flipped up a little bit and then came back. It was just a dead straight throw. Gosh, I'm so bummed that I didn't bring my uh, tripod. But uh, you just gotta trust me on this one. Uh, I got no reason to lie. Uh, that was a great throw. It felt really good. Uh, one of my best on hole 10 here. Here's a picture of the hole. I can't remember how many feet it is. 243 or something. Well, I'm really glad I tried out Prodigy Discs. And I have to say, I was really excited to try them out. And first and foremost, congratulations to Isaac Robinson, our new world champion. Clearly, he is the face of Prodigy Discs, and it must be very exciting for Prodigy and for their fans to see Isaac win. Congratulations. So what did I think about the discs I threw? I like them, and I can see why people like Prodigy. I really love the plastic on the F3, the 400 plastic. The 300 plastic is definitely grippier, and I wish I hadn't gotten that for the M3. And overall, I liked them. So let's talk about the discs and see if any are recommended to make a beginner's bag, and we'll be making this beginner's bag. So the first thing I'll say about the PX3 is I really like how it feels. Does it look like an eraser from grade school? Because that's what it feels like. It really is grippy and feels good in the hand, and I like the 300 plastic for a putter. I don't like it for the mid-range, but I like it for the putter. And it felt really good in my hand. It is a big bead, and I will say that's a little bit interesting for me. I think what I'm finding is I like a normal bead. And as Sir Mix-a-Lot said, I like big beads and I cannot lie, or wait, was that Isaac Robinson? So I like this disc, but I don't love it. And as you can see, I did buy a second one because I did get a discount code and I thought, what's better than one putter, two. So I have a couple of them and I'm gonna keep trying them out and they'll probably stay in my bag for a while, but I think there's another putter that might jump ahead of it. So you just have to watch the next video. Next up, the M3. I don't know about this disc. I had a really odd day with it and I felt like I could never really get a read of where it was gonna go. Is it understable? Is it overstable? Is it stable? Is it gonna fly straight? Is it gonna turn over? I had some really good shots with it and then I had some really tough shots with it. I just didn't like the feel and I think part of that reason, again, is this curved convex underside of the disc. By the way, I'm sure there is a formal name for that part of the disc, and if you know, drop it down in the comments. But for now, this is the underside. So I just struggled to get a good feel in my hand. And it's the 300 plastic, which I think is great for a putter, but wasn't great for a mid-range. I prefer a higher grade, higher quality plastic like their 400 plastic. I wish I'd gotten that. Maybe I'll get another one at some point, but I'm just not sure the M3 is a disc for me. I really like the F3. And it took me a little while to get used to, but boy, this flies really well. I found that this was one of the straightest discs I've thrown in the seven speed category, and it flies very similar to a river. So I put this in my bag. I like it, I've used it, I find it to be a great disc, and this 400 plastic is phenomenal. By the way, Isaac Robinson Signature Series. So this is a great disc, and I would definitely recommend it for a beginner, and I would note that there's lots of good seven speed options out there for beginners. And just because I got a discount code, I picked up an F9. Could there be any more understable disc on the market? Eight, six, negative 4.5. I'm really excited to throw this thing. I threw it once and guess what? It turned over and turned way hard. But I gotta get used to that and I'll give it a few tries. Look at this thing. This might be the most rounded dome disc I've ever thrown. This would make a great airplane wing with all that air for, oh, I'm not even gonna say that. If you see where the parting line is, as well as the dome on top, you can definitely tell this is an understable disc. I'm gonna find a way to throw it and I'm gonna practice with it a little bit. I got a discount code, thank you Prodigy, so I picked it up and I love this 400 plastic. So I'm glad I tried Prodigy discs. I really like them and I'll probably buy a few more. I don't know if I'll buy an Isaac Robinson signature series again or one of his special discs that just came out, but I do like their discs. I do think the F3 is a really great disc and the PX3 is probably a great beginner's disc as well. 
a great putter to start with. So overall, I guess what I'd say is the PX3 can be a good beginner's putter if you like the feel of a big bead. The MX3 is probably a great disc when you have a few more rounds under your belt, but for now, I don't recommend it for beginners and it's not going in my bag. And the F3 is a great seven speed and I definitely recommend it for beginners and it's gonna go in my bag with the caveat that there are so many seven speeds out there, you may find one you like better, but this wouldn't be a bad one to start with. That was a fun round. I really enjoyed throwing Prodigy discs and I'm definitely gonna throw them some more. So thanks for tuning in and please like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Silver Fox Disc Golf.